everybody, welcome back to Dude Ranch DIY. My name is Jake. We are in the basement now, and I just got home from work, and I saw a big package waiting outside of the basement doors, and it's something I'm pretty excited about. Um, this company reached out to me and asked me if I'd be interested in trying one of their products. I che checked out their website and saw something that I think is going to be a big help for the new splitter shelter. So let me show you what we got going on. So as you can see here, this is a solar LED street light, they call it. And there's a picture of it. Um, this is the company that's on the box, although that's not the company that I was corresponding with via email. Um, let's open this thing up and see what it's going to take to get mounted up. Um, so, from the website, it looked like it was pretty darn bright, but, I mean, it looks pretty simple. Like, here's a mounting post, maybe, like, a bracket. I think this is, yeah, that's the light itself. And solar panel down there. Remote control switch. And here is the instruction manual so I'm going oh 24 month warranty that's nice I don't know what series this is it says that there's a couple different series it looks like four different series with four different lumen outputs um, oh okay so right there on the side of the box this is the 2500 lumen output so this must be the HC 2500 so I'm gonna look through this book very quickly because who really needs instructions and figure out how to mount this thing up and bring out the tools that we need and hopefully we can get this thing mounted up on the new splitter shelter okay guys so upon some further investigation and opening up the package um, this bag was completely open and all of the hardware was just out, um, I found this screw, which I believe goes in this hole right here. It looks to match all these other screws. So I think essentially the only thing I need to do outside is really mount this thing to the shelter, which I got these big lag bolts out of my toolbox. I just had those. Um, it did not come with them. Um, but that's how I'm going to mount it to the structure. But I think I'm going to assemble this whole light just in here, I think it'll just be easier because I have all the tools and stuff that I need right over there in my toolbox. And then we can take it outside and do final assembly and installation on the shelter itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing put together and then we'll check back in once it's assembled. Right, guys 20 minutes later and I got the thing assembled solar panel up on top here the light is uh, you know on the bottom down there um, I didn't use the little dinky tools they gave me uh, but you know having some real tools makes it go faster but nothing crazy couple screwdrivers couple sockets couple wrenches um, so yeah I think that should just about do it now we should be able to go outside and mount this up and I the only thing I didn't do beyond mounting it to the actual shelter is you can see this pivots there and there's room for two more screws dependent on what angle uh, you know you want to put this thing 
Um, when I first assembled it, I had the solar panel flipped around the other way so that this longer side of the bracket, you can see there's a short side here and a long side here. This longer side I had facing the light, which didn't allow the bracket to angle down all the way to that lowest position if you need that for the sun in your area. And they actually, I don't know how accurate it is, but um, they actually give you a worldwide panel angle. So for my zone, it says it should be about 26 to 37 degrees. Um, I'm not really sure which angle that would be on this, but we'll figure that out once we get outside. Okay guys, so we are out here and I'm gonna try and get a And it just started raining. Well, I'm gonna try and get a rough measurement here. I believe this is, how long is this thing? All right, yes, we're at 18 feet. So nine foot would be uh, on center. Now, I have the light right here. Oh, I'm not gonna even, might not even need the ladder. So, let's see. Nine foot from roughly there. Seven, eight, nine. So, yeah. That looks to be about the middle, so we'll call it at that knot. There's a knot right here, I know you can't see it. Um, now, I did bring the ladder. Might help. I think that's gonna be about it. I think the hardest part here is gonna be, uh, oh, see it just turned on. I think the hardest part here is gonna be holding this, see? I don't know, to me that's kind of weird how it's like angled like that, but I guess that's how it's designed. I'm not really sure, maybe it has something to do with the sun. All right, this is gonna be, hmm. So I need to get this thing, I guess like that. I suppose I can hold it. Kind of. <laughs> oh. If I don't drop this, I'm gonna be impressed. All right, so we'll call that about center. Let's see if we can get this first one in there. one in. Now, need the second one, and then we'll be golden. Then we will be golden. All right. Again, this isn't an exact science. That looks good enough. step that I was anticipating. <laughs> All right, so those two are on. Now, I can always rotate the light if it's not quite even. So again, I am doing this on my own here, but um, let's see if I can get this one in. All right, I mean, I don't think it's gonna survive a hurricane, but I mean, <laughs> I don't think it's gonna really go anywhere. 
Um, now let's see if it turns on. Oh yeah. Okay. So, as far as angling this solar panel, I mean, because this thing is angled up, like at an angle, the solar panel can either go backwards this way or like this. And I know the sun rises over there and it normally sets over in this corner, so thinking this is the appropriate position to put this thing. Now, this thing, oh yeah, it does dim. So you can dim it. I have this remote here and then there's timers and a sensor. So I don't know, maybe I just shut the sensor off. I'm not really sure. But it turns on when I tell it to turn on. And it shuts off when I tell it to shut off. So that's a win in my book. I mean, we'll see how long this thing lasts. But uh, let me get the truck out of here um, and we can play around with it as, it as it continues to get more dark. All right, guys, there is the new 2500 lumen 5000K, that's the color intensity, hyperlight, solar street light, they call it. Um, the link to this product, if you want it, is gonna be down in the description. They gave me an Amazon link and a 6% off coupon code. I will uh, flash the coupon code here on the screen right now. But this thing is pretty cool. I'm interested to see what it looks like at night, but just like during the day here, um, you know, it's it's pretty bright and it's nice that it has different intensities. We can lower the intensity all from a remote and, you know, brighten it up. So it should shine pretty nicely out here in front of the whole pavilion structure. Um, I'm curious to see how much of that light, you know, trickles down underneath the structure. We're going to definitely be moving or getting some new lights for underneath the structure but uh, it has a nice big solar panel if I shut it off you can actually see a red blinking light and in the instruction manual that indicates that it's charging on solar right now and as you can probably tell um, it's lightly drizzling and pretty gray out and the sun's about to go down so the fact that it says that it's still charging is pretty good so we'll see how this thing holds up over time i just want to do a quick video on it because i thought it was pretty cool i was looking for something that was powerful enough to you know light up out here for when we have people over or when chris and i are working um because we do use believe it or not this uh wood yard has kind of an entertainment area as well when we have bonfires and people over um so having a nice bright light out here will be nice we will check back later once it's dark. I gotta go run a few errands, but by the time I get back, it should be dark, and we can check out and see how bright this thing actually is and where it actually casts its light. I'm pretty curious to see how far out here it's gonna cast its light, and I wanna make sure that I have it on the right settings because there is a like setting where it can go on and off with like the sunlight. Like When the sun goes down, it will automatically come on, and I don't want that to happen um, because I don't want just this light on all night because um, people will see it from the road or some of my neighbors might see it and that could get annoying. I just want it so that I can turn it on and off with the simple remote here and we'll be able to use it when we need it and it'll be off when we don't. So that's pretty much it. Uh, we're going to go run some errands then check back in and see how this thing does. Well, all right guys here we are back. It is dark and this is the hyper light. So as you can see, it's pretty darn bright. Um, I am now standing, you know, I have the splitter right here and I'm standing out here and it throws a real decent amount of light in this whole 
general area out here, you know, in front of the shelter. I have my car over there. I just came home from the grocery store. Um, when I did pull back here, though, the light was on and it was very dim. And when I went to go retrieve the remote control from the toolbox back there, when I walked closer to it, it got brighter. So it, it has like this sensor mode on here and I'm not really sure what it means. Cause when you hit the sensor button, it just like flashes twice. <laughs> and then if I hit the sensor button again, it just flashes twice. So I'm gonna stand back here out of its area and see if it like stops flashing. Um, or if it will shut off with no movement underneath it. And uh, we'll see how that works. But yeah, Hyper Light. Again, the link to this light will be down in the description. Oh, see, it just dropped down dim. But now I wonder. Okay, yeah, I'll figure this out. So guys, that's going to be it for this one. I forgot to film the ending last night. But uh, go to the website, check it out. That's hi-hyperlight.com. Um, there's that kind of strange coupon code that I flashed up on the screen, but it should also be down in the description. Um, I apologize for it being kind of long and random letters, but that's just what they sent me. Um, I'll let you know how this thing does. I'm sure you're going to see it in future videos. I, it appears to be for, you know, what it is a decent construction. Um, as long as, you know, nothing crazy hits it or, you know, like insane snow loads or anything. Uh, we'll see how well it is uh, at being waterproof. Um, but I mean, from what I could tell, it, it seemed to, to do the trick. And um, I think it could help a lot of people, you know, guys like me that do have wood yards outside, but don't have electricity out there uh, to power a conventional light and don't want the noise of a generator. Um, this is a nice alternative uh, using the solar power to harness the energy and create nice, bright, 2,500 lumens of light. So uh, that's going to be it for this one. As always, guys, if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate it. Welcome to any new subscribers. Any questions, comments, or feedback about the video or about the light in the video, leave it down in that comment section. But for now, I'm Jake. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you here next time.